Okay, Q's are just waiting lines. And so you can have customers arrive and they line up and they're waiting here uh, for somebody and there's the, uh, oops, um, um, sorry, and then uh, here's a person uh, serving them and so somebody would come in here and get served and then move on. Now they may end up in another waiting line and get served by somebody else and you know so they go down here and then they move on and they could end up in another waiting line uh, but that's just the idea of queues so you see them all the time you know go to places like McDonald's if you go into a McDonald's and they have a pay window and a pickup window you know you see exactly this sort of thing Okay, and I was uh, thinking that I hadn't really done much with cues. I haven't done a lot, uh, but however, um, uh, we were um, uh, setting up a team to uh, reduce data uh, for a radar test uh, and evaluation uh, competition. There were multiple radars that um, the Army wanted to look at. So we were uh, gathering data for this, or we were going to gather data for this test and evaluation competition. Um, uh, you know, for the Army. And this is, I worked for a company, a defense company called BDM at that time. Um, okay, so the idea would be this, uh, what, you know, what's reduced data? Well, you get raw data in and um, it needed to be uh, changed Uh, to usable data. Okay, well, what, what does that mean? Well, get rid of errors. You know, so there might be erroneous data, uh, missing data, you know, so that would be an error as well, you know, that it's missing, um, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, but there were other things that needed to get done. Uh, the way you test the radars is you would fly planes, you know, so here's a radar, uh, here's a plane, uh, flies by, or a helicopter or something flies by, and the question is, well, you know, the radar, it's, you know, if here's a, like a little map of the area, you know, the radar is right here, the plane uh, is coming through this way, well, how much of this path did the radar track, if any? And so the radars would produce uh, a track, but of course we had to decide, um, was it, it uh, really the test craft? Okay, so that was part of, you know, so that would be sort of errors, but that would be a different sort of error. That would be an error in the radar system as part of the evaluation, uh, if, it, if it tracked it, or, um, you know, was it really, or, or how much uh, did it track? So somebody had to look at that data and make sure that really was a track, and then you know, did it only track, you know, even though it could have tracked from here to here, did it only track from there to there, you know, that kind of thing. Well, all that took different steps. And so you had the raw data come in, um, and 
and you know possibly the first thing was you looked for missing data uh, maybe you know then you looked for um, errors uh, tracks and other stuff okay um, I couldn't tell you now what the heck we looked for but um, you know so you could think of this as uh, you know, and we would have teams, and so the raw data would come in, and a team would have to look for the missing data and then send it on. So that's a waiting line. So you'd have raw data coming in, and, you know, these might be three different tests here. You know, then they'd get serviced by that. Well, we'll put an M for missing. they get serviced by that, then they'd move on you know, look for errors, then they move on, look for tracks, and, and so forth. And at some point, it would be sent on to the analyst, and it would be done. Um, and so you could think of this as a queue because um, this team, uh, the error team, uh, they can't do anything until the team looking for missing data is done and uh, just the way things worked and same thing for the tracks they couldn't look at it till the um, other analysis or other reduction was done and uh, similarly the missing team or a missing team could only work on one um, uh, test at a time and so questions about you know um, staffing this would be like, well, do we want more than one team in any of these stations? Because if we had more than one team, we could handle more than one test at a time. You know, so maybe we wanted something like that. Lots of people looking for missing data, um, not as many teams looking at errors or, or you know, something along those lines. And, um, you know, so that was sort of the question. You know, how many servers, as we would call it, did we want? How many teams at each of these spots did we want uh, based on how fast we thought these tests were going to come into the system? And so that's where, you know, I treated it, you know, back here, you know, just like McDonald's, okay, just one station after another, uh, made some assumptions, and um, uh, the success of this model, not really clear. My bosses really liked it. Um, they presented it uh, to the customer to try to get funding, uh, but I don't think we really got much extra funding or anything for more teams. Uh, they were, the government, the Army, was just willing to take a long time to get it done. So... Um, you know, what, was it successful? Uh, I don't know. You know, like I say, I, I think, uh, you know, our, our, the BDM people um, liked it. They believed it. They thought this was a good, a good analysis to try to figure out the staffing. Uh, but in the Army, in the end, the Army really just didn't seem to care. They wanted as uh, few people working on it as possible, and they didn't care how long it took. Uh, so... There you go. But that, that is a queuing model that I worked on.